Hello Internet, Internet. Big Dave is here, and I am cheap. Sure. Hello Internet, it's Big Dave here, and this is Vertical Drop Heroes HD, the series. If you don't know what Vertical Drop Heroes HD is, well, go ahead and check out my first impressions video linked in the description below. That should give you a basic overview, and otherwise you're going to learn a whole lot about the game as we play it here for your possible amusement. Now, the reason I thought that this game was good for a series is because of its progression base. You start out with a very vanilla character, and as you go through subsequent runs, you get more and more powerful. So the beginning of the game becomes trivial, and the challenge becomes reaching that final destination. So I thought it'd be a good uh, way to showcase the game. Do 5, 10, 15 episodes of a short mini-series and let you guys see what the actual progression arc is like as you play through Vertical Drop Heroes HD. So let's get things underway. Of course, we know about the prophecy. Go over to the video if you want to hear my stammery, nervous, weird sort of reading of the prophecy of legend. But here you go. We're going to pick our first character, and that character is going to have very minimal stats. You'll notice that, especially if you watched the uh, first impression video, these characters pale in comparison to, uh, what was that character's name? Grimwalk, whatever the character is. Th these names are great. They're randomly generated. You can see Ice Muncher. Gleam Glaive, Venom Guard, I mean, what, what great names. Uh, so these characters pale in comparison to that character that I used over there, Rustwild, that was the character's name. Uh, but uh, that's because I haven't made any progress on this save, completely reset my save. Uh, so at this point, I am going to choose, let's see, so we're, we're here I'm kind of looking, I'm balancing, do I want more life versus, uh, you know, better weapon, I guess? Staff, he loses 50 HP. Manage recharges. Uh, you know, I think, uh, honestly, I think that Gleam Glaive is probably going to be my best choice. The reason I'm picking Gleam Glaive is because I've got uh, more chance to crit and I've got the highest uh, base low end damage. So you notice the damage is 4 to 11. So my minimum worst hit is going to be better on Gleam Glaive than it would on Venom Guard or Ice Muncher. I also like the Dagger's special ability a little bit more than the Arrow's special ability. So I am going to go for that. We're going to progress through Vertical Drop Heroes HD. We have zero gold, we have zero keys, there's not really a whole lot here uh, that's going to do anything for us, so uh, we're just going to kind of uh, get told a lot of stuff about a lot of different things, and then we're going to jump right into the first game here. So yeah, we can't upgrade anything, we can't actually do anything here at all, so let's get in to the drop. Yeah, we got to reach the end of the, of the, of the game. You're going to notice that little press splash screen as I start every game. Because I did get a press copy of this, I can't buy the regular edition, which would remove that little press splash screen. So just get used to me sort of skipping through that hurriedly. Uh, we are going to try to maintain a pacifist run as long as we can. Pacifist run involves me not killing any enemies. And if I don't kill enemies, these little orbs will stay on the level. And those orbs can then be used to uh, further my score without actually having to go through the trauma of murdering these uh, evil hordes of zombies and gnolls. Let's see, we have one key, so we could free someone to fight on our behalf. If we free this guy and he fights for us, his kills won't count against us. So that's a pretty good, uh, pretty good idea to free him. Death Puppet. I like, oh, we set off an alarm. Thank you for killing him. No, you killed my, ah, oh, my merchant. Ah, oh, all right. Knight, you're helping me out here, but at the same time, you're making my life harder. Okay, so we have our princess here. She's gonna want uh, red roses, three red roses, and she'll give us 25 coins. Okay, so we did, okay, we did kill something. Something fell on us, so our pacifist run is over. Let's see if we can go ahead and start uh, knocking out some gnolls and getting some more XP and gold here. It is going to be very, very, very important to focus on uh, killing a lot of stuff and collecting a lot of gold, XP, and power-ups when we are in the uh, very early stages of the game here because, uh, yeah, we've got very little advantage when we, when we uh, spawn our new characters after a run. Oh, goodness. Okay, so 
kind of expecting to die to this boss, but, you know, hoping that I won't. Uh, I do have special abilities and things that I should be using, which I am not taking uh, necessarily good advantage of. So we'll go ahead and spam my daggers out. I do have nine of them, so I might as well spam them all out. And uh, hey, that got us a good lucky kill of the first boss, and we are away. Uh, did I collect all three roses? I don't recall. These little blue guys, which I didn't cover in the first impressions video, will take me back to the top of the level. Now, by going back to the top of the level, I can trigger some of these alarms, which will generate more enemies, which will generate more gold and more XP, if that's what I want to do. And I think it is. Because, again, we are trying to get as much of an advantage as we can, as much XP, as much gold as we can here in the very early going. Uh, so we can spawn four enemies to gain 25 XP? Sure, why not? We're doing pretty well right now. Uh, I have the auto attack on. I might turn the auto attack off from time to time if I'm attempting full pacifist runs. There are various rewards and unlocks for completing multiple level pacifist runs. So that might be something that we look at later on in the series. Uh, right now, I'm feeling pretty good about where I am. I'm level four. I'm killing most of these guys in one hit. So that is a huge positive. Uh, that is one of those things that I found in my first playthrough of the game. Getting to that, getting to that plateau where you kill enemies on the first couple of levels in one hit is huge. And it really, really makes your run a lot more efficient in the long run. So uh, did we pass the princess? Have we seen the princess? There she is. And we will manage to get over to the princess. We must have missed a flower because she is not rewarding us with our... Oh, we got some alarms down here. With our 25 gold. So I'm assuming we missed a flower somewhere. And if that is the case, we are just going to go ahead and exit the level. A very long first level. But again, that is because we are in the early days of the game. And I am trying very, very hard. Well, I keep saying very a lot in this video. <laughs> I'm trying really hard to, uh, to to build my character up. 63 gold is a good amount of gold to be taking out of the game, even before I, I were to die right now. Uh, you know, that's a really nice amount of gold to have. So the pacifist orbs can be powered up by the panda merchant who is outside of the, uh, of the main part of the game, so who's in that temple of knowledge, that uh, hub zone where you begin. Uh, I do have my pacifist run, so I probably shouldn't have triggered that alarm, but I did. So... Uh, dumb on me, I guess. Now, I could use a key here to get into a room which would require three keys to take full advantage of, so I'm not going to unlock this door to get to those chests. I am just going to move on. I'm going to maintain those keys and look for a more opportune moment to use them. Is this a more opportune moment? Probably not, but I'm going to go ahead and use it. Oh, because it revealed the diamond ring that this princess will no doubt want from me. She did want that diamond ring. She got that diamond ring. And now she's a happy princess and I am a hundred gold richer. So you can see these guys are doing a pretty decent amount of damage to me. Uh, I don't have a whole lot of health right now and I'm not real happy about not having a whole lot of health. Uh, but the fact of the matter is I don't have a whole lot of health. Oh, okay. The uh, little guys with the hoods actually shoot homing arrows, uh, which is not great. <laughs> I don't like homing arrows. All right, we'll grab a key here. Uh, ugh, we are not, we are not looking too good. A level up means that we get full health, so that is a huge positive. But other than that, I am not feeling, oh, tragic, tragic spike hop there. I'm not feeling too good about what's left on this run. I'm going to spam some daggers down here to try and clear. Okay, just made that dodge. Uh, I think I've got to free this barbarian to try and do a little something uh, for me here. I need that uh, extra DPS that he's he's going to bring. Yep, see, he already cleared out an ad for me, which is perfect. Uh, I don't know that I'm actually going to defeat the red champion. I'm going to spam my daggers until I am done with all my daggers, and I am done with all my daggers. And I'm going to get a super lucky kill on the red champion. This is a really good first run, I think, uh, if, I, if I do say so myself, if I pat my own back vigorously. A uh, pretty good first run, so I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah, we are gonna, yeah, we're gonna head to the next level. What else can we do? Now, this level I do believe is probably going to own us pretty hard. Uh, very often the statue at the beginning of the level will tell you about some special thing that might be happening during uh, the uh, the course of the level. Uh, unless you wanna mess about, there is another portal out, okay. Uh, that just is a weird cryptic message. But sometimes it'll say things like, uh, when enemies die, spawns will uh, flies will spawn or something like that. 
uh, you know, sometimes it is actually giving you useful information. So uh, might as well maintain our pacifism as long as we can, uh, especially because it's going to be difficult to kill these enemies. So uh, I'm going to pretend like I'm maintaining my pacifism for uh, good and viable reasons. Okay, our first... Ooh, okay, our first chance to get an ability. Lightning. Purchase this ability for future heroes. So that means that if I unlock this, future heroes will be able to grab the pacifist or grab the lightning pacifist on the brain. Grab the lightning ability. Uh, fires a chain of lightning that leaps from enemy to enemy. Any water touched by the lightning is also electrified. That sounds pretty good. And for a mere five gold, uh, that will actually give us huge advantages going forward. So we're going to start out by grabbing that. Thank you, sir. He's out of stock now. Oh, that... I've, I've been killed by this crow or this raven more times than I care to count. He has a ton of life, as you can see. And uh, he killed... Wow, he killed me again. So I'll add another death to my innumerable numbers of death, uh, death to, the to the raven. So, uh, yeah, that's our first run. Done. So now we're going to get a chance at a new hero. None of them, unfortunately, uh, happened to grab our lightning ability. Oh, no, lightning is an ability, not a passive trait. My bad. So, uh, yeah, so Rip Spike actually did gri grab the uh, lightning ability. I like the sound of lightning. Uh, both, I guess lightning, I was going to say both in real life and in the game, but lightning doesn't make a sound. That's thunder. So, uh, yeah, I think Rip Spike is probably our best bet here. Again, he has our highest low-end damage, 4 to 9, and he also has the most health. Uh, dual swords again, and we have lightning and mega jump. Didn't really use mega jump in the last run. I need to uh, be a little more... Uh, on the ball with using my active abilities. I am notoriously bad at using active abilities in, in all games. All right, so here we actually have some money, which means that we can start pumping up our character. We can purchase more damage and we can purchase more health as well as buffing up the pacifist, uh, the peace orbs. So uh, now they'll, they'll grant more each and every time I uh, actually uh, level this guy up. Level up the panda. I mean, pay the panda money. Hmm... I think uh, I'm going to start with uh, a little bit of an, a balanced approach. I'm going to grab two damage, and I'm going to grab two life. And then, because I am feeling saucy, I'm going to grab a little more damage. You notice that uh, basically increased our max damage by one when we paid that money. So now he's going to require 100 gold to uh, get the next upgrade, and he's going to require 75 to get the next upgrade. Uh, yeah, so that is uh, not too bad for a first run. We're going to go ahead and descend uh, through the uh, forest once again, the Goblin Forest, uh, one more time here before we call this episode finished. Uh, now, one of the mechanics that I wasn't real specific about in the uh, first impressions video was the ability to jump. Okay, there is no double jump, but you'll see me sometimes do these uh, air jumps. You get one jump. Whether you fall or whether you jump, you get one jump. So you can jump in the air, but you can't double jump. So you have a jump to use whenever you would like to use it. And you will notice that as a technique and a tactic uh, that I do often use in order to uh, get to odd places, avoid spikes, different things like that. All right, so uh, we can gain the power of flight, which I don't really care about. I value five gold more. I value more. I value keys more than I value a helper right now. Uh, hey, a dog. Yeah, we'll collect him. Might as well, I guess, right? sure that that's going to become important later. Anytime you see little uh, guys like that running around, might as well go ahead and collect them because somebody's going to want them later on, and they're probably going to give you a decent reward for grabbing it. So we have our next uh, trait. This time it is a trait. Iron Foot purchases trait for future heroes. Spikes deal 67% less damage. I did have a rather uh, bad spike hit in the last level, so I'd love to purchase Iron Foot, but I only have 13 gold. And I would have come in handy right there, too. Uh, but since I only have 13 gold, there's nothing I can do about it. I may find a teleporter back up to the top of the level so that I could grab Iron Foot. Uh, but for now, we're low on gold, so we're going to do something about it. We're going to set off some alarms so that we can get some enemy spawns so that we can start making that money and getting that 20 gold that we do, in fact, need in order to pick up that new passive trait. And Iron Foot is really a great trait because sometimes you fall on spikes without even really meaning to. I mean, you fall down and spikes are there. Or you get bounced and spikes are there. So uh, it is really, really good to have that trait. I have found it extremely useful in my past playthroughs. So I am going to put in the money, invest the money, 
to grab Ironfoot. A couple of crates here should get us well over the threshold, and it does. What are we looking at here? Invisible for 10 seconds. I don't really care about being invisible for 10 seconds. Now there is a portal over here, so we'll take that portal back up to purchase Ironfoot. Nice and simple, should be a quick fall down to get to our merchant, and we will purchase Ironfoot. Now, Ironfoot does not apply to this character, but Ironfoot will apply to our future heroes as they spawn in the uh, the pick three starting screen. All right, so again, we want to be killing enemies. We don't want to be avoiding enemies, especially in this first level where our damage is more than enough to uh, take out most enemies in a single hit. Uh, I bet this guy's looking for his puppies. Yep, the royal puppies are missing. He needs uh, our help in finding them. Good news, guy. I already found them. I'll take that 50 XP, which will get us most of the way to level four. So I'm pretty happy about that. And we're going to progress through. Should be able to hit level four before the end of this uh, level, before the end of the goblin forest. And there we already hit it. Before the end of that sentence, we hit it. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's trigger another alarm here. Get some more enemies on the screen. I love enemies on the screen, especially in these early days. Eventually, I'm going to hate enemies on the screen when I get to the 7th and 8th level, but uh, restore all my abilities to full. All my abilities are already at full, but uh, I do have lightning and I do have a boss on the screen, so let's use some lightning. Pop, pop, pop. That's really nice. I like that a lot. Wow, that is a super powerful ability. I mean, I pretty much got an entire board clear by doing that. Now, uh, we have one little guy down here who managed to survive, but another bolt of lightning right to his skull. We'll finish that off. There we go. Really nice, really nice. Can't quite get to that gold coin, but that's all right. Okay, well that would have also given us some additional lightning, but uh, we didn't need it because we, we pack our own lightning. We bring it with us. That burning smell, that flaming stench, the fires here are hard to quench. Ooh. So it looks like we're going to have a little fire here. Fire can be really annoying, in part because it's graphically hard to note. You know, spikes have their own tile, so they're really easy uh, to, to locate. Really easy to see spikes, really easy to know when there's a spike. Uh, but yeah, you can see that fire there on that, uh, on that uh, what are we going to call that? The ground? <laughs> on that ground tile. Uh, it's a little bit difficult to see, but uh, it will hurt you. It will hurt you quite badly, so I am going to avoid it. Yeah, it's just like the fire swamp, apparently. I hope there are no rodents of unusual size here. Try to get up in here. I can't jump up in there, so I'm probably not very well off by actually killing those guys. Whoa, man, lots and lots of fire here. Uh, I don't really know how I'm going to get through this without taking some damage. So, uh, yeah, let's just go. Whoa. Hate that. Okay, so, okay, the fire is actually spawning from the enemies being killed. And now I am being killed. So let's just spam out our lightning here. I need a clear. I need a board clear. I got almost a clear. There it is. And we got a level up, which is going to help us in the life department. Goodness. Okay. High voltage. Oh, I electrified that water. And then I shocked myself. Wonderful. I don't have time to find your puppies or whatever that you're looking for, dude. Let's see. What do you want? Pesky monsters have imprisoned some of my best heroes. You can rescue at least three. So if I... Spend three keys to rescue three heroes. I guess that means I get... Oh, goodness. All right, let's just spam out the lightning here. You know, I just want to get... Uh, I want to get some XP at this point. I want to get some gold. I just want to get the things that can help my next hero's run to be better because I think that this hero run is actually done for. Oh, okay, goodness. Uh, yeah, we're going to take him because he will sometimes give us a shield, which could be a big help. See, it was a big help <laughs> right there. All right, and we've died. We died to the fire. Again, the fire levels, I've always had a huge, huge amount of trouble with the fire levels uh, because it does pop in out of nowhere. And I don't want to say out of nowhere. Killing the goblin seems to be what triggers the fire, but uh, that was a pretty good run. All in all, 76 gold. It's going to be just enough to upgrade our health if we want to, but uh, we are going to go ahead and uh, call it quits here. I'm not going to pick my second hero or my next hero because uh, by the time I do another recording, I will have a new set of heroes to choose from, and I don't want you guys to get attached to old Hearththorn, Heartthorn, or Hearththorn, or Iron Soul, or Willow Blade, uh, in uh, unduly, and then us not actually play as them. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I hope that you will enjoy this look through Vertical Drop Heroes HD 
Tune in for more episodes I'm going to do about one a week, so it shouldn't be too stressful to watch each and every one. I have been Big Dave, and until next time, take it easy.